My name is Holly, and I'm the children's librarian here at Alamosa Public Library in Alamosa, Colorado. And this is Storytime Online. It's time to share a story, a story, a story. It's time to share a story, a story today of night skies and sand dunes and nice park rangers and project packs. It's time to share a story, a story today. <gasps> wow. Guess what? This week is International Dark Skies Week. So we're gonna take this opportunity to learn about our night skies. Have you ever stepped out at night and looked up? What did you see? It depends on where you are. Did you see tree branches? Did you see rooftops? Did you see only stars? A meteor? What did you hear? An owl hooting? Moths tapping against a street light? Here in Alamosa, Colorado, we are lucky enough to be considered the gateway to the Great Sand Dunes. Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve is really close by. I wanted to learn more about the Great Sand Dunes at night, so I talked with my friend, Ranger Ian. This is Ranger Ian, and he works here at the Great Sand Dunes. Ranger Ian gives programs and talks about the night sky and is an unofficial night sky ranger. He has studied quite a bit to become familiar with the night sky and different night sky objects and has spent a lot of time practicing with a telescope. It takes time and training to practice using a telescope. Ranger Ian's favorite thing about the sand dunes at night is watching for meteors from his tent. Ranger Ian says an overnight camper might see many stars, the Milky Way, meteors, planets, and the moon. They might hear wind blowing through the trees, nocturnal insects, owls, and coyotes. I asked Ranger Ian what a hiker should bring for a night hike. He says to bring the same things you would for a day hike, like water, snacks, a first aid kit, but also bring some night specific items. Ranger Ian says it's usually much cooler at night, so even during the summer, you should bring some warmer layers. Another good item is a small telescope or a pair of binoculars. You should also bring a flashlight or a headlamp. Ranger Ian says it's best to have a light with a red light option, especially if you're planning on stargazing. Red light will let you see where you're going without ruining your night vision. Ranger Ian explained that you can see so many stars at night because there is very little light pollution at Great Sand Dunes. The park rangers work really hard to only use lights where they need them. Ranger Ian says if there were more lights in the park, the stars would look washed out and you wouldn't be able to see them as much. It could also affect wildlife, disorienting birds, drawing in insects to bright locations, which would in turn affect where bats would go for food. But since the levels of light pollution are so low in the park, there are excellent views of the night sky and wildlife is relatively unaffected. Ranger Ian knows a lot about the night skies at Great Sand Dunes. Thanks for sharing your expertise with us, Ranger Ian. If you'd like to learn more about our dark skies and the animals who benefit from dark nights, you can, of course, check out a book. We have lots of interesting books about the night sky, both fiction, make-believe stories, 
and nonfiction, real true facts. There are even two books that we were given by rangers at Great Sand Dunes. This week, in celebration of International Dark Sky Week, we will have project packs here at Alamosa Library that you can stop by and pick up. Inside, you'll find information about the dark night skies at Great Sand Dunes, a craft project with some supplies, a whole Junior Ranger Night Explorer activity guide from Great Sand Dunes, and more fun stuff. If you're in the area, please come by the library between 10 and 4, Monday through Friday, between April 5th and the 9th to pick one up. If you complete your Junior Ranger Night Explorer activity guide, you can take it to Great Sand Dunes to be officially sworn in as a Junior Ranger. Be sure to say hi to Ranger Ian if you go. Thanks, Ranger Ian. I can't wait to go camping at Great Sand Dunes. I'll be sure to bring my flashlight with a red light feature so that I can see the stars and so that I don't disturb the animals who benefit from a dark night sky. Also, big thanks to our friend Judith Boquist with the International Dark Skies Association, I-D-A. She let us know about Dark Skies Week. IDA educates people about the importance of dark night skies for animals and insects and stargazers too. IDA certified Great Sand Dudes National Park as a dark skies park. So I hope that you get to go and experience the beautiful night skies out on the dunes really soon. See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, sweet baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly, goodbye. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos.